So an announcement, season two is well underway and it's coming soon. So what can you look forward to in season two? Well, some insights and some of the stories that are coming across another collection of 15 incredible guests. We have the first descent of the Essequibo River in Guyana, supported by the indigenous Waiwai tribe. We touch on the transformative power of micro adventures and the beauty that can be discovered or rediscovered in local landscapes. We touch on what it takes to run across remote landscapes such as Tajikistan and Patagonia, including running across America, and the transformative power of community and how to bring communities together for charities and worthy causes. And switching from running to paddling, an incredible story of kayaking from the west coast of the USA across the Pacific to Hawaii. Switching from paddle to pedal power, what it's like to cycle across the world without a plan, without GPS, what it's like to cross Tibet in winter, and what it takes to buy a horse in Mongolia. The pure joy and absurdity of wild and nomadic cultural experiences. And switching from pedals to rope, what it takes to thrive and survive in the big mountains. Some incredible achievements, such as the PLA Dior Award, from first ascents in the Karakoram, to the first female to summit Everest from both the north and the south faces. We discuss the complexities of high altitudes and alpine climbing, from the joys to the darkness, to the sacrifices and the lost soul, to the pursuit of balance and the staggering impact that climate change is having on our planet and our communities. Switching to primal adventuring, the skills that are required to survive in some of the most remotest places on Earth. We'll touch on adventures in conservation too, what it takes to tackle wildlife and fauna trafficking, touching on some of the most extensive criminal investigations in the history of wildlife trafficking. And back to expeditions and personal exploration adventures, we traverse Botswana's Okavango Delta and cover polar trekking in the extreme of Norway's Finnmark Plateau. We also touch on what it's like to capture these moments and document all of this. Learn what it takes to become a documentary filmmaker, hear from a National Geographic photographer, and learn what it takes to become a Nat Geo photographer. Insights on what it's like to be in a submerged archeological assignment, capturing shipwrecks, and to the beauty and the excitement of capturing historical wildlife shots. But most importantly, across all these stories that are coming in season two, we discuss the personal side of these adventures, the motivations, the fears, the inspirations, and the triumphs. And that's just a snippet of what's to come. So get ready for their stories, in their own words, in Adventure Diaries, season two. So an announcement,